This segment of Panther Sports Talk is brought to you by Lincoln Savings Bank. At home in Iowa, at work for you. In the UNI West Gym with UNI Track and Field Head Coach Dave Paulson as the outdoor season is underway and Coach, some big meets coming up here down the stretch with the Drake Relays the end of April, you get into May uh, and then you're talking Missouri Valley Conference Outdoor Track and Field Championships. Talk about the outdoor season, how the kids have kind of moved just from that indoor season now to the outdoor season. Some events slightly different and you add a few events as well. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, it, it goes fast. Once the outdoor season gets started, we just see one week after the other and all of a sudden we're in the meat of our season now in April and uh, Missouri Valley Conference is just five weeks away. So uh, yeah, the transition from indoor to outdoor is always an interesting one. You have uh, events that get different. You have the 400 hurdles on the track. You had the sprint relay four by one. You got to get those handoffs in, uh, the different throwing events we have going on outdoors too. So uh, same sport, but a lot different feel than, than the indoor season. And talk about some of those uh, throwers as well. We've got a story coming up on Brad Walski, uh, who's uh, leading a big group of some strong throwers on the men's side, but the, the women's side as well. Sarah Pate uh, leading a good group on the women's side. Yeah, our throws crew is, is tremendous. They scored the most points they ever have in school history uh, indoors, and so we're looking for them to really kind of carry the torch and be a big impact for us at the outdoor meet. Uh, Sarah in the, in the weight throw, or the hammer throw outdoors, uh, terrific job so far, as well as in the discus, and then Hope Koprich uh, leading the valley right now in the discus last year. Uh, you know, she just uh, was her first year with us. Uh, she was a softball player and came over to track, and, and so now, you know, the fact she's in the top of the conference there and, and top 25 in the region is, is tremendous. And on the men's side, Brad Walski, he's a senior this year, it's going to be sad to see him go, and so uh, he's just been a really good uh, stabilizer for us there. He's, he's someone that the guys can count on, that we can count on to kind of rally the troops, uh, and, and the throwers are looking really good, and, and they just get better every single week. Coach O'Mara does a really good job, and uh, we're looking forward to the next few weeks as we head uh, towards championship time. Yeah, and stay tuned here to Panther Sports Talk. A great story on uh, Brad Walski, his academic endeavors and plans for after college. Coach, uh, just talk about uh, the short sprints. Brandon Carnes, he's 14 for 14 in MBC championships, but he he set a Missouri Valley Conference and UNI record in the 100 meter dash as the third fastest time in the NCAAs this year in the 200 meter dash coming off uh, all American performance in the indoor season. Yeah, Brandon really, he, he stepped it up. He worked really hard uh, in that time between indoor and outdoor and we've got uh, him with the, with the best time in, the, in school history and the conference. And so he's sitting top three in the 200 in the country, top five in the 100 meter dash in the country. And what was great about that, him going down to Florida was a chance for him to get to run in front of his family. So they don't get a chance to see him run a whole lot. And so for him to do that in front of his home crowd, his hometown uh, people was, was awesome. Some other short sprinters as well. I know on the men's and women's side, the 400 meter dash, uh, kind of an event with the, some kids that can compete. Absolutely, the 400 group has really come on uh, strong here early in the outdoor season. Madison Ehrman ran a really good time this past weekend in Nebraska as did Brett McCall on the men's side. And uh, we need we have some depth there, and so we just got to really uh, kind of maximize that and try to get as many people to the finals as we can at the conference meet. All right, and always exciting that 4x400 relay uh, to wrap things up. We'll have more with Coach Paulson uh, when we come back. More UNI track and field right after this. <laughs> 